Hey, tubers. Um, yeah, you know, um, I had to run outside while I still have some light um, on this really awesomely beautiful evening um, because I've been sitting inside going through the stuff on my desk and um, listening to Jacqueline Dubois talk about um, prepping. Well, first of all, when I saw prepping associated with Jacqueline Dubois, this is a VR to you, Jacqueline, so I, I hope you're watching this. Anyway, I was um, not startled, but it was a little bit intriguing because I immediately, here's prejudiced, I immediately had you pegged as fairly straight line liberal when I've seen your, um, your lovely uh, YouTube videos, which I am enjoying watching. Um, this is a bit of an aside, but... Um, I'm not a bandwagon jumper. Um, I don't identify myself politically as as liberal or conservative. I tend to be um, moved by issues more than anything else. So I guess they used to call people like me middle of the road and that isn't even a, a good explanation either because I can sometimes lean way to the left or way to the right on you know any given issue. So having predicated myself on that. Um, so number one, Mia Culpa, I never should have pegged you just because um, you're, uh, you know, a real witch of, of Southern California. God, my, duh. All right, sorry. Anyhow, um, part of what was really fascinating uh, to me about what you're saying is I too um, g have gone through that um, need to well, not even a need, it's been an imperative in the back of my mind, and it happened about, well, it happened 13 years ago, where my little voice that talks to me in my head was saying, sell your house, get out of town, sell your house, get out of town. Well, I lived in this beautiful four-bedroom house with a three-car garage that I'd finally achieved because I had this job in publishing, and, um, well, I mean, who wouldn't love that in a nice neighborhood, right? new, brand new. And I was there for seven years, and the longer I was there, the less comfortable comfortable I was in that um, environment, um, in my neighborhood. Didn't know my neighbors. It was, well, There's a, that's a whole nother video. But point is that my little voice became a very big voice, and it was screaming in my ear, sell and move. So I started to look up in the foothills outside of my town. Um, I really wanted to move more into the mountains, um, higher than where I live, but I commuted every day, so I found a location a good 25 miles out of town, and um, and I was able to afford it. I could pay cash, so sold my house, bought this place cash, completely freaked out my friends and family because I went from nice little suburban, you know, cookie cutter you know, make mansion light to a leaky, falling down, you know, dog pee smelling, ancient double wide trailer on five acres of scrub with, you know, tarantulas and <laughs> snakes and uh, scorpions and um, all sorts of other creepy crawlies, in addition to wonderful things like beautiful raptors and bobcats and coyotes and squirrels and everything. I mean, we have all that too. Um, in a kind of a scrub oaky uh, area with a lot of bull pines. So really, really that whole quintessential California foothill, rugged, granite rock kind of, um, kind of locale. Um, and friends and family couldn't understand that. And all I could say to them was, my little voice is telling me to move to the foothills, um, shrink my, my footprint um, down. By footprint, I mean what I need to survive. Shrink it all down and um, change, change my lifestyle. So that's what I did. Um, interestingly, uh, within, see I did that in 2002, three, four, five. So within three years, the company that I was working for had shut down and I found myself permanently out of work. I have not had a job. So, well, for a short time I worked for a slumlord for like six months, but not even that long. But I've pretty much been permanently 
I'm not going to say unemployed because it's more like early retirement-ish for me, but um, I have I have a very tiny little income, and um, it's all I need because I I took I had a couple little windfalls. I paid off all my cars, all my consumer debt. I had no mortgage. Um, then I had another little windfall come in, and I took every bit of that, and I bought a commercial building that um, gives me a little bit of. That's now my income. It's tiny, but it's uh, it's good. And that that has that in, uh, investment has actually um, increased in value pretty good. So I'm considering selling that and rolling it over. That's another story. But um, my point is, I was react. I was acting on intuition, not. By like like in your video, you were thinking things through, explaining why you um, and lover. I think that's so cute. Why you and lover uh, live the way you do and make the choices that you do. For me, it was a complete knee jerk coming from my inner voice saying, telling me to do this. So I did it, um, and I don't regret it. I wouldn't come back to, to town for anything. Um, I wish I had moved higher. I wish I'd bought more land. Even if it, even if my trailer had been a single wide instead of a double wide, I, I would have traded, you know, that tiny little bit of space for, um, I'm not going to say seclusion exactly, but more choices. The more space you have, the fewer neighbors you see, um, the better your you know, gallon per minute flow on your well, um, the better your ability to see the southern sky for, um, you know, solar and that sort of thing, uh, really the better off you are if, if your idea is, I may need to hunker down. Um, one thing that comes up when I think about hunkering down, the what, you know, what you've described in your video is, and this is just a tiny aside, but it's the whole issue of taxes. I mean, you can't live on property and not pay taxes, so somehow there needs to be a, a flow of money or, or money, whether it be fiat money in the form of dollars or gold coins or silver that you can turn into fiat money to pay your bills and to pay your taxes. You need to have some of that stored up in one way or another um, to get you through however long it takes for things to readjust. But um, I, too see this coming, um, as do so many people. Um, what's interesting is it seems to be less and less about political affiliation and whether you're liberal or, or, or conservative, whether you're Democrat or uh, Republican, and more and more about um, how smart are you? I mean, it's like, if you, the smarter you are, the more you see, the more um, you can synthesize all of these things that we're seeing happening in our world now. Um, everything from GMO food to um, less um, the reduction in, in our civil rights to um, things like, um, uh, well, you mentioned it, um, the whole militarization of, um, you know, of our, of our environment out in the world. Um, you know, a horrific rise in crime. Horrific, especially where I live. It's really been awful. Um, so, yeah, we're seeing all that. Of course, at some point you have to ask yourself, well, am I seeing it because I've got a TV and the internet and now I see it all where I wouldn't have seen it before? Um, maybe, but I don't think so. I think that things are accelerating so quickly um, to the negative that... You pr you'd practically have to have your head buried in the sand now to not be aware of the discordance and the disconnect um, in our world. So, um, yeah, this is halfway an apology for assuming that you were something that um, you are clearly not. Um, and even if you were, that's okay. I am absolutely not dissing liberals. You go ahead and be liberal if you want to. You can be pagan if you want to, Catholic if you want to. You can be, you know, a tea party or you can be anything you want to be. I am not going to judge you on any of that because I just feel like that's wrong. Um, I'll judge you on how you treat other people, how you treat me. That's going to be how I judge you. Um, so anyway, yeah, this is just a quick... Uh, uh, a quick video response as my beautiful light is dimming. So, um, 
I love your videos, love the backgrounds, love your um, your stuff on juicing. That's been interesting. I've kind of been doing something similar. Um, and yeah, right on, girly. Love it. See you later.